this uh, in fact in connection with the Congress Parliamentary Party meet where Sonia Gandhi has expressed concerns over the Chinese transgression. She said, and I quote, government being adamant and not holding a discussion on it, public in-house unable to know the real situation. Why is the government not sending out a financial reply to Chinese transgression? Uh, unquote. And so that is, of course, the reaction that is coming in. This, of course, uh, we've been seeing for the past couple of days that the opposition has been mounting pressure on the centre uh, to be answering on the Indo-China border issue. So the latest person, of course, to have reacted is Sonia Gandhi. <laughs> वो उनसे मिलेंगे पर अलग-अलग राज्यों में अलग-अलग संस्थानों से नागरिक संस्थानों से वो मिलते हैं और इनसे बहुत सुझाव आते हैं जो हमारे मैनिफेस्टो के लिए और हमारे कार्यक्रमों के लिए बहुत फायदेमंद हैं तो ये बैकग्राउंड है भारत जोड़ो यात्रा का और मैं अभी भूपेंद्र होड़ा जी से गुजारिश करूंगा वो आप हरियाणा के बारे में उसके बाद हमारे वरिष्ठ पीसी अध्यक्ष बोलेंगे उसके बाद शक्ति सिंह जी कुछ कहेंगे और और ठीक है उसके बाद पीसी अध्यक्ष बोलेंगे और आपका सवाल बाद में मैं और सभी लोग यहाँ जो मौजूद हैं आपके सवालों को जवाब शुक्रिया बुद्धा ये भी माइक है more context into Sonia Gandhi having reacted. Uh, this is of course at a time where remember that the opposition is continuing to mount pressure on the center. I have my colleague uh, Samia joining me on the broadcast. Samia, uh, good morning. Give us a quick context into the fact that Sonia Gandhi has now reacted on this entire matter and also questioned uh, and raised several points. If you could take us through that. Well, a short while back, uh, 12 opposition parties in the parliament uh, held a protest demanding that there should be discussion on the floor of the house on the issue pertaining to the LAC and what has been the government's policy to try and tackle the Chinese incursion at the Indian point. Uh, well, Surya Gandhi, who is the uh, uh, chairman of the CPP, had earlier in the day held a meeting of all the Congress MPs. And in that meeting, she, in a statement, had asked specific questions about the fact that a debate can only shed light on several critical questions. And why is China emboldened to continuously attack India? What preparations have been made to repeal these attacks? And what are, needs, uh, what are the needs that, uh, what more needs to be done? For that matter, what is the government's policy to deter China from future incursions? And given the fact that we continue to have a severe trade deficit with China, importing far more than we export, why is there no economic response to China's military hostility? What is the government's diplomatic outreach to China's military hostility? And what is the government's uh, strength, uh, you know, a diplomatic outreach to the global community also? And a frank discussion in the parliament can only strengthen the nation's response and it is the duty of the government of the day to inform the public and explain its policies and action, especially pertaining to China. So Sonia Gandhi has asked these specific questions, especially saying that when the country is faced with a national challenge like this, it's incumbent upon the government of the day to take the opposition parties on board and try to, you know, uh, assuage the entire house when it comes to what steps is the government planning to take when it comes to their uh, diplomatic, uh, uh, you know, policy for that matter, and what steps are being taken to deter the Chinese incursion from taking place anymore on the LAC. So we have to wait and see what is going to be the reaction of the BJP because the Congress former president and the CPP chairman did not mince a word because she also went on to say that the whole nation stands with our vigilant soldiers 
who re repelled these attacks under difficult conditions and the government however stubbornly refuses to allow a discussion on the issue in parliament and as a result parliament uh, and political parties and the people remain ignorant of the true situation on ground so sonia gandhi is clearly saying that there seems to be a sense of secrecy that the government is trying to maintain over the chinese issue where the government should come out and thread there put it across the entire opposition party because when it comes to bilateral issue or issues pertaining to national security keeping all political uh, issues aside petty politics issues aside the political parties are going to come solidly and stand behind the government of the day because they salute the valor of the armed forces who are guarding our borders right now and they want the government of the day to try and uh, come up with uh, that sense of uh, you know all right samya for the moment i appreciate you joining us on the broadcast and getting us those reactions we'll of course keep coming back to you to get more on this particular story